We'll continue to keep you updated. A very dangerous situation heading into the Grand Forks area right now. Now, these storms earlier were producing hail this big, baseball size and larger. This was in the Wells County area. Here is a look at the latest on the storm. We'll keep you updated in every block of our newscast as the severe storms work their way into Grand Forks right now. There is a chance of some hail, but the hail size won't be what you saw in the picture there. We're looking at more like a one to one and a half inch diameter hail. The rotating part of the storm is here, and there was a confirmed report of a debris signature on the ground by the National Weather Service radar as it made its way through this area near Sharon, north northeast of Sharon. So this storm is extremely dangerous. It has the history of tight rotation and that rotation continues. Let me show you where. Here's a look at this system moving east at about 35 miles per hour. So there is a chance that Fisher and Crookston on the outside of one hour will get this storm. But look at Greater Grand Forks, the brunt of the storm getting there uh, just at the close of this broadcast. Now you could get light rain before that, however, but the brunt of the storm, the circulating part right here near Fairfield, moving toward the I-29 corridor between Thompson and Grand Forks. Now seek shelter. We'll keep you updated on this rotation throughout the broadcast. Stacy. Thanks so much, Hutch. You can soon watch Troll Woods performance of Cinderella virtually. Showings will be next Monday and Tuesday at seven in the evening. You can find a link to buy tickets on our website and the XL Energy Holiday Lights Parade is coming back this year after it was canceled last year because of the pandemic. The route will start in Moorhead, then cross the river into downtown Fargo. It's usually the Tuesday before Thanksgiving, but not this year. It's on a Saturday. It'll take place on December 4th at 630 p.m. and it's free. We'll be right back.